Okay, so how to build a, a thing like this? I've made like a, I took my plan. I've made, I've cut like some foam, you know, styrofoam, like pink one. Like, uh, so I make this uh, this form over there, one eighth smaller on each side. Okay, and then around it, I like uh, just make loops of a uh, balsa, tin balsa, and then I put the stringers on top of it, like this. Loops of balsa, there's two. So they're laminated, right? Yeah, they're laminated, yeah. And then I put like this little piece there. It's one thirty second, about an eight, uh, one inch thick. One eight. One wide. eight wide, yeah. Okay, one uh, one thirty second, one eight wide. And then uh, I made all my pieces, glue everything. And then I took like a little blade and I cut it in half. Open it like that and remove the styrofoam. And then you put it back and you glue it. And then I've made those little things there. I wanted a shape like this that goes over there on the plan, okay? Like uh, there, booms, booms, okay? So I just took like a piece of 132nd. I made this little pieces of uh, styrofoam. I put some uh, tape on top of it. You know, like how do you, you sand it? I just sand it, yeah, I like cut it. Like uh, grip? Yeah, exactly, as close as I can, and then I sand it. And then I made this little piece, and then... And uh, here I see something glossy there. Yeah, that's tape, that's scotch tape on top. It's packing tape on top. Packing tape on top, exactly. So it doesn't stick. Yeah, exactly, and then I took a piece of paper like that, I roll it around it, and then I cut it in two. Okay, that's my pattern for the piece of wood. Now I take a 132nd, or 164 something like very thin <laughs> and uh, I cut it with my pattern and then I just put it on that put a little bit of glue and then put some layers of tapes layer of uh, like a uh, scotch tape and then when it's uh, it's very long to dry when it start to dry you just remove this piece you leave it there and then you make the other one same way okay and uh, that's it and then you dope hmm. and your name is sir my name is Bernie Captain Bernie from uh, our fun squadron in Montreal. Mm. And this is an Arval. That's an Arval SO8000. <laughs> Thank you, sir. It's a beauty. Okay, so now you took uh, your plan, your tree view. Yeah. You put on top, I just put, put some uh, dots with a needle right through. Yes. One mm. sixteen smaller. No, I do it like exactly the same dimension and I'm going to trim it after. Ah, very good. Okay, so... And then uh, a bit of bandsaw. And that's the band Okay, so now you have the first cut. You put the piece of foam back on the table with the plan, the top view. Yeah. Now because uh, I have only one plan, so I'm very cheap. <laughs> I don't cut it. I just build it on top of that. Uh, I do my lines. has to be about this because after that I'm gonna send it to uh, the shape I want. Okay, now it's done. <laughs> now we got the uh, holes. The holes. Put the black line, I guess. Yep. Okay, so now you just draw the line so you can actually see something. Yeah, you can put little numbers right next next to each little dots. And it makes like a game, you know, but uh, I don't have time for that today. <laughs> okay, so now we have the two cuts. It's ready for dime scale style. Mm -hmm. Stop now and you're... Very cool. Good. On a grid avec ça, hein? Pas de boucan, rien. Il est en fou. On oublie. Hein? Now it's been like uh, 15 minutes, right? Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. like that, good. And then, uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Close enough. Okay, what are you doing now? Sir? Okay, so with the same technique, I did like uh, the nacelle for the motor, and now all you all you do, you apply like some tape on top of it. Some packing tape. Packing tape, yes. You can have translucent or red or the color you want, you know. <laughs> but you just apply it so that it it stays there, you know. And just so it looks beautiful, right? Yeah. But that's no, gonna prevent the glue uh, from sticking uh, to the styrofoam because I use like a uh, wood glue all the time, all time, all the time. You tape it, so you put some tape on top. Okay. Like this and another one so that all the shape is covered basically like this one okay doesn't need to be perfect because uh, you're going to apply like some balsa strips on top of it so it's going to follow you know uh, a bit the shape okay so don't cap up don't go what crazy. does capot mean, sir? It does mean going the crazy. Going the crazy. Don't go crazy. Okay. So now you remove a bit of uh, what's too much there. What I'm going to do after that, okay? I'm going to cut this piece over there. I'm going to put a piece of balsa. I'm going to sand it so that it goes with the profile. Same thing at the back. Sand it so that it goes with the profile. And then I'm going to put my stringers. I'm going to put the stringers in this way, you know, the bulkheads. And then I could put stringers in this way, all the way around 130 seconds. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to cut this one, cut this one, put a little piece of balsa there, so that when I put the stringer after, it's going to glue to something. Okay. And then I'm going to put my uh, bulkheads 130 seconds in the glue uh, at some places that I will determine uh, at one point there. Like we did over here. So there's a piece of balsa there, a piece of balsa, that's the nose block, a piece of balsa here, and the strainers are just going to go on this piece of balsa that's going to stay there. And after that, I'm going to shape the nose block that's going to go uh, so that it comes with the stringers. Now, it's not perfectly uh, sh done yet, but it's going to go with the stringers. So I don't mind. So my, my piece here needs to fit with exactly with this form that's the next uh, stage okay so this is a 164 thickness of a grade a grain balsa 116 wide you just dipped it in uh, pure yellow glue and now you're wrapping it So at least three times you said? Yeah. Three, uh, lucky three. <laughs> now you push it a bit. Okay, that's the last one. Okay. I'm gonna stop it here. Good. Okay, now you put it. There we go. So there it goes. Now you can replace it a bit, you know, you pull on it. You place it exactly where you want. It's a bit slippery. So you have to be careful. Okay. Okay. So put the strip there. Put the glue. There are two pins to align so that they go on top of each other, the strips. Then burn makes a bit of tension. Make sure there's they're touching. Oh, it's so easy, burn. So easy. On the first take. 
Wow. And some tape at the end to secure it. Okay, pins, tape to secure the beginning. It's a great idea, burn, super fast. Here we go. That's it. That's and then burn, use the heat gun because he uh, doesn't believe in time. <laughs> yeah. Time is money. Okay. Come on, show on Okay. Good. Uh, what are we looking at now, sir? We're looking at that uh, the bulkheads, they're all made. And now we're just going to add the stringers. String. What are stringers? The stringers are the little pieces of wood. But first one is going to be 1 8 tick, and the other one 1 32nd. Why 1 8? 1 8 because we're going to cut this one in half. That's the way we're going to cut all the way there so that we can free our pieces of styrofoam that's in the middle. Ah. Roni. <coughs> Okay, so now you put this uh, one eight. Well, that's more like three sixteen. Yeah, three sixteen one eight. Whatever, something like that. Whatever. <laughs> and then that's the piece I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna put all the stringers now. Finish to put all the stringers, and then when all the, tr the stringers are on, I'm gonna cut this, cutting to like uh, the the bulkheads. I'm gonna Maybe cut a small it. chain stuff for that, I guess. Yeah, very small chain side. And then uh, that's it, basically. So now yep. stringers. You have to cut both sides? It just doesn't work one side, eh? No, you have to cut both sides, yeah. Both sides. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now that's the hard and part. Then, and the then you cut this, easy. and then you cut this little part. So then uh, that's it. The rest is easy. Now it's all stringers. Gently down the stream. All right. So uh, is it rolling? Is it rolling? Yes, okay. it is rolling. So now you have to cut it in two, you know? So that you have two uh, pieces. So that's it. It's been done on the uh, the form. Now I remove the first one. Now I'm so going to remove the second one. That's the we first. Make a slot. All the way, and then you re-glue it. See. Now I'm going to cut the second one. If I'm lucky. It's weird when the blade cuts, isn't it? Yeah. It's a strange <laughs> feeling. <laughs> Okay, so don't get too, uh, you don't want to have little peanuts in your caca, <laughs> so uh, try to make it, you know, cut it, just cut it, and then uh, if you break a few little things, you can fix it, because Bob Thompson was saying, like, the art of building airplanes is not in the art of building, but in the art of fixing, so uh, you got to get good in uh, fixing those things, so, oh, 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 and who's Bob Thompson? Bob Townsend is one of the uh, founding fathers of FAC. Yes, sir. A great man. What's FAC? The Flying Aces Club. Ah, can we reach at flyingaces.com? Can we reach it at flyingaces.com? Yes, we can. Or you can join too, you know. Okay, so now you just cut this in two. Now the line is not perfect, but uh, you won't see it after, so don't go too anal on this. Okay. And kids, don't uh, use this. Use your father. Uh, you don't want to be cutting this. Oh, see? Look at that. Oh, it's opening. Opening is good. Now I'm just going to continue to uh, try to cut it in two. There is no try. There is no try. There's uh, just cutting. Okay. You said it must be true. Okay, now it's a bit longer. Okay. Okay. Now this one's cut. Okay. I just need to cut the ribs there. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Too much glue. Never put too much glue. Don't do like Uncle Bernie. 
you know, try to uh, refrain on the glue. Because here in Canada, it's a rich country, we've got plenty of glue. You know? <laughs> so, uh, pretty much every beetle are used too much. Okay, and that's it for this one. Right. Remember, kids, ask your father or your mother to cut for you this piece. Yeah, especially your mother. She'll be uh, <laughs> probably like my wife, she'll really enjoy it. <laughs> okay, oh, kids. Now, the foam is uh, keeping it pretty much so you can push a bit on it you know because when it's re-glued uh, this won't matter much so now oh look at that it's like like a little little bird hatching from its egg see look oh it's beautiful okay now I'm gonna show you what you do with this thing there now you remove it this one doesn't Something's fishy there, but just pull on it. Okay, so now you got two halves. Halves, like this, you know, halves. my friends. Two halves that you're gonna re glue together with uh, whatever glue you like. I personally like um, the wood glue, okay? Any type of cheap wood glue. It's and that's the glue. motor, yes, that's the motor. Now, what do you do when you remove, like, uh, where's my other pieces? This. I had my pieces in that. What did I do with the pieces there? I'm gonna show you. I put it here, okay? <laughs> and then, when I built those things, you know, I, do, I laminated those things around this one, I did two and then I cut it in half. And then I did this, you know, and laminated around it and then I cut it in half and glue it there. So now you have an idea of the airplane and then you just take a little piece of, of styrofoam and you cut a piece of uh, styrofoam like the wings one minute Talk at a time. about this recycling Okay, then now you're recycling it, okay? <clears throat> and this That's is glued, ow! Oh. That's glued with uh, hot glue. Hot glue. Okay, what do you do with glue. that plane after? And that plane after, you give that to a kid. Ah. And ah. the kid, what, what does he do with it? Look at that. He just throws it and it flies. And now he's happy. <laughs> okay, Bob. Contamination. Contamination. That's the motor. Wow. I'm going to put it uh, later.